show you what we're what we're doing today for rigging. So that pole has two pound test and this pole has four pound test. So the first thing that we're doing is we're taking one of these bobber stoppers. And it's basically just rope that goes over the line. Pull it up a little bit and you just slide that twine off. Take your stopper, your little black part off, and then pull these together. And you got a little stop in your line. Take your pliers, check in your pole. It's also, this wind is also pushing this algae towards us, so hopefully that doesn't affect us. Trim the ends. I have not been trout fishing in forever, so I don't have very high expectations today. Come back down your line. And you take a bead, feed it over your line, and you go bead. And then one of these bobbers, what these are designed to do is your line goes through here and you got a bobber stopper. So it hits that bobber stopper and you set a pre a preset depth. So I've got mine sitting at like five feet deep. Um, and then you put the bobber, bobber on and then you put your weight down here so that your line goes down, hits that bobber stopper, the weight drags this line or this side down and then your bobber stands up in the water and then you can see if it's actually being hit. Oh, of course. So close. Unbelievable. Something's going on with this. And stop the line going through here. So we're gonna swap to. I don't. So we're gonna go this instead. Bobber. Then we're going bead. Then we're gonna go. Probably quarter ounce weight. Uh, yeah, quarter ounce. Well, hey, I went eighth ounce on the other one. Weight, then bead, and then barrel swivel. Hey, Clay, your bobber drifted all the way. I know, I gotta tie this before I do anything. So, so I'm gonna recast this guy because we've got some issues with wind. Had to get the first cast out there to know what was going on. I'm gonna try to get out by this rock a little bit more. There we go. Let your line out. Hit that bobber stop. Bobber stood up. And then just let your line sit a little bit slack. So back to what we're doing over here. Okay, dear wizard. Now we're going to take a trim. Now we're going to grab some four pound. Actually, just no. We're going to grab four pound fluorocarbon. So you don't want a super long leader when you're doing this. You don't want it to get tangled. So going about 10, 12 inches. Stop smacking pole tips, please. Wet your line. 10, 12 inches down the line. This time, we are gonna go with a size 18 treble hook. I am used to tying no less than 20 pound tests, and now we're doing with two and four, so a little persnickety. So I'm gonna go garlic. We're just gonna go with the old trusty. Oh, do you have power bait on one? I'm gonna go power bait too. Take a little pea size. 
a little bit around that hook. So now, come up here, we set this bobber stopper to the depth we want. I'm thinking maybe a tad deeper. Going probably five, five, well, I guess that's exactly what I did on the last one. Okay, so on this pole, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Not this pole up here. We're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna throw one of these mini jigs on. So, got some of these power bait atomic tubes. Also, local um, slug fishing in Poway. Shout out to them. They carry a lot of good trout stuff and is also super knowledgeable and helpful. And I'm gonna throw one of these guys on here, these mini tube jigs. So that's a little tube mini jig. Kinda suspends and you just kinda bounce it. Gives a nice little action in the tail. 